When you play the game of Dungeons & Dragons, sometimes you die. But that's okay, because there are usually a whole lot of other steps before that happens, and ways for you to come back from death. Let's discuss on today's episode of Handbook or Helper. Don't know how to play, we'll, we'll show, show you the way. Handbook, 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 handbook or helper, handbook or helper. Let's get the nasty one out of the way. There is a way to die instantly. When a hit reduces your character to zero hit points, instant death occurs when there is remaining damage that exceeds your total amount of hit points. Like if your ranger has 18 hit points and you take 36 points of damage, unfortunately you are dead. Sorry. However, let's say you only took 30 points of damage or you just got knocked down to zero HP on the nose. This means you fell unconscious. That means there is hope. Once you are unconscious, you will have to start making death saving throws at the start of each of your turns. What are you doing? You're the one with the tattoo. It's deeply meaningful and personal. And now it's a prop. Roll a d20. If you roll a 10 or higher, this is a success. Take a stress relieving breath as you fill in one of those top bubbles. If you roll below a 10, you have failed. Once you have rolled three successes, you stabilize, which basically means you still have zero hit points and are lying on the ground unconscious, completely useless to your party, but you don't have to make death saving throws anymore. Yeah. However, if you roll three failures, you have died. Sorry. Sorry. These rolls do not have to be consecutive though. You just have to collect three of one kind. Thanks, your arm was very helpful. I don't know why we couldn't have just used a graphic, but... Oh, wait, 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 one more thing. Can you use a graphic? Fine. If you roll a natural 20, you stabilize and regain one hit point. Yay! If you roll a natural one, it is considered two failures. Boo. Pesky fate, am I right? So let's say you died. Oops. Well, this is possibly not the end. There are several spells that can help your party members bring you back to life. There's third level revivify, which has to be cast on you within a minute of your death. There's reincarnate, a fifth level spell that gives you a new body that could be any race. So hopefully your character is okay with that. Then the Mac Daddy spells, their seventh level resurrection, and then true resurrection, a ninth level spell which costs 25,000 gold worth of diamonds and allows you to bring back characters that don't even have a body anymore, which is crazy cool. Check the player's handbook for full details on the components and materials needed for your miracle magic. So all in all, within the world of D&D, death just might not be the end. If you are best friends with a high enough level cleric and you have enough diamonds, you could be back on your feet in no time. Or rolling up a new character if the dice hate you. Sorry. Handbook. 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 Handbooker helper. Handbooker helper. Dang.